The jobs of tomorrow haven't been invented yet. Technology is changing everything, how we play, how we communicate, how we learn, and how we do business. STEM subjects are central to the world of work, offering exciting possibilities for students in ways their parents could hardly have imagined. Young people still at school have to make decisions that will shape the rest of their lives. The options are almost limitless. This series of short films will show you some of the opportunities as well as the challenges ahead. If wearing a white coat and working in laboratories is to your liking, Citric could be the place for you. Around 40 people are based at the Clinical Translational Research and Innovation Centre beside Alton Galvin Hospital. This is a place where science meets business. There will be clinical trials here uh, commissioned by the pharmaceutical industries. Um, there will be clinical studies that are undertaken by universities and institutions. There are businesses here working on the development of new products and services for improved healthcare. Zetrix home to the new Northern Ireland Centre for Stratified Medicine, the only one of its kind in Ireland. It puts the University of Ulster at the fore in the fight against chronic disease. The research that we do here focuses on understanding why diseases develop and how we should best treat patients. So understanding um, who will respond to a treatment and who won't respond to a treatment. CTRIC employs a number of administrative and support staff in its operation, as well as a large number of highly qualified science graduates. We would have um, uh, degree level people here, yeah, and postgraduate level, and we would have PhD students working in here. We have uh, clinical research nurses working in the building who help facilitate the clinical trials that are all going here. We have biomedical scientists uh, who have who would have degrees in biomedical sciences or postgraduate qualifications in those areas that will conduct uh, biomedical science research. CTRIC provides exciting opportunities for science students interested in branching out beyond the more traditional medical careers. Yeah, I was always interested in science at school and um, again, like a lot of people, I did think about doing medicine, but I was more interested in understanding how things worked, um, how cells worked, how diseases developed and therefore I went and did a degree in biomedical sciences and after that um, I got really interested in research and understanding um, disease processes and how you could um, improve treatment for patients so I went on to do a PhD. Here at CTRIC, academics, businesses and clinicians work together to develop products and services for improved health care. Well, I think there's, there's fantastic opportunities in the future for um, young people going on to study science. Um, you know, you can work as a scientist in a laboratory, you can uh, take those skills and develop the science that you've worked on into uh, new products and ideas to improve healthcare, for instance. And you could be someone who goes and works in uh, IT or technology or engineering, but you might find that uh, some of the knowledge and skills you have could be applied uh, to medicine or healthcare to improve um, uh, patients' lives. I think there's an endless um, breadth of career opportunities in this field. I mean, it goes from basic bench work right through to scientific editing and writing, um, right through to working in government and influencing policy decisions. So there's lots of opportunities out there. It doesn't necessarily just have to be um, being a bench scientist. Given the range of career options now available, especially for STEM students, it's essential that young people familiarise themselves with the opportunities on their doorstep. The Northern Ireland Centre for Stratified Medicine was just set up uh, here within Citric, uh, and that's, that's looking to the whole area of personalised medicine and treating people according to their genetic makeup. Uh, and that's deemed to be a very important area in the future in terms of uh, research and development and employment. The Japanese-owned Fujitsu Company is situated on the banks of the River Foyle. It's surely one of the most attractive locations in which to work. The company employs 170,000 people around the world, 800 of them in Northern Ireland. Fujitsu looks after all the IT needs of its client companies, solving complex problems with simple solutions. Whatever your level of computing expertise, 
Fujitsu can provide you with a career opportunity. We take apprentices, typically after A-level, we're looking for people with some sort of aptitude for ICT. Um, and we will train them for, I think, eight weeks initially, and then get them more or less directly into the workplace. Uh, we also look at graduates, getting graduates in um, directly from college, but also look, obviously looking for more experienced people. Then the types of areas are server support, and that is Unix and Windows server support, but also applications development and design, and then systems design as well. Fujitsu's presence is a boon for ICT enthusiasts who might otherwise have had to leave the Northwest. I went to La Tech for a couple of years and then I found myself going on an apprenticeship to get on the another technology company that was based here at the time. And once I got on the day to day working with computers and fixing them for a living, then, you know, it really took off for me. People travel from all over to come here to work. People drive for two hours a day and a night. So because I'm 1.9 miles that way, you know, it makes me feel very lucky to have this on my doorstep. While graduate qualifications are highly valued by the company, an aptitude for ICT is also appreciated. Ideally, we'd like to have computer degrees, but we have, uh, I've had an employee that has done English literature as a degree did sound technician afterwards and is now in the IT industry, so there's many paths into this industry. Many students, especially young women, are reluctant to give ICT a chance with implications for the economy and for the students themselves. What I suggest is, certainly at GCSE level, I believe everybody should do ICT. One, you're going to use it no matter what walk of life you're in. And secondly, it might give you an exposure to an industry which you've previously written off as something you're not interested in. If you ignore a maths or a science subject, you're potentially limiting your career options. So instead of going for the softer options, stick with the hard ones, you know, so that you don't limit yourself. But that said, IT, I believe, is something that everybody should do. Again, if you've been inkling for that area, if you don't end up in the IT industry, you'll still use the skills that you've learned in that subject. We already use technology nowadays without giving it a second thought so the prospect of a job in IT shouldn't be daunting. Anybody who enjoys taking stuff apart and putting it back together could probably fit on quite well around here. You know, we're, uh, we're a technology company, so anything, anything computer-based, which is pretty much everything these days, if you have an interest in it, putting apps on your phone or, you know, just anything you have an interest in, I would say, follow it, and if it's technology-driven, you could end up in Fujitsu. With operations in countries all around the world, the opportunities for progression in Fujitsu are obvious. We're a global organisation, so there's always opportunities both in the UK and Ireland and further afield if you want to spread your wings as part of the organisation. Wherever you work with Fujitsu, ongoing training and learning are an essential part of its operation in the face of constantly evolving technology. It's an industry that's always growing. It's an industry that's constantly changing. You know, so no two days are the same when you're on the job. A lot of it you can learn from the books, but a lot you learn on the ground with experience, you know, and the earlier you can get on it, the better. The O'Neill's sportswear brand is known across the world, from the west coast of America to the Far East and Australia. In fact, anywhere people play a sport. Its headquarters are here in Sturban, where around 400 people are designing and producing equipment and sportswear for Gaelic footballers, hurlers, cricketers and rugby players, as well as leisure wear for sports enthusiasts. An operation on this scale requires a huge range of expertise. From the very you know, start, from you know, selling the product, sales skills, to drawing the designs for what the customer requires, and then moving the designs forward and progressing to you know, printing of the jerseys. There's also design skills required in terms of producing different garments and looking at adding to our ranges. Apart from that then there's also different tasks, you know, there's warehousing, there's knitting production, there's sock production, um, and then obviously sewing skills, cutting skills, embroidery skills, 
printing skills, a huge range of skills required in order to produce the products that our customers require. There's a wide range of skills in an operation this size, but the basics are important. No matter what job you're coming into uh, with an O'Neill's, you do have to have your English and Maths. Because even as a production operator, you have to be able to read that CAD and to look at the information that's on that and to know exactly that that's going to match your end product. Now again, it depends on the field. If you're going for artwork, you know, you would need to go on if you wanted to become a, come out as a designer. Um, you definitely need, you, you would need your artwork. IT is another big thing because technology has moved on so much in the last number of years. Um, even in, in the, with the printing process, we started off just with screen prints. Now we've gone on to digital printing. Well, ideally, we would like um, you know employees to be proficient in English and maths, and depending on the role that they're going for, you know it could be um, you know something to do with artwork, um, be proficient in you know computer skills, um, especially you know Microsoft um, Word and Excel. That's kind of the main skills we're looking for. In such a rapidly changing environment, IT skills are among the most highly prized. There, it's more um, of graduate level there that is coming in to do, you know, to, to be able to look after all the computers and everything. You have your people that would work in the art room. Um, they would have to have computer skills, artwork. Um, a lot of Illustrator we would use, um, but there is Photoshop and different packages out there. But again, they would need um, to have a, a degree sort of in artwork or uh, design packages. Despite the rapid rate of change, one thing remains constant at O'Neill's, the opportunity it gives all its workers to progress within the company. A lot of our present managers would have come in at the basic job, our production uh, manager at the minute, she started off as a basic operator and just progressed up herself the whole way up through that she is production manager now. Again, uh, our MD as a prime example came in as, as a dispatch clerk and is now sitting as MD of the company. As long as you show willingness to learn and to move on, O'Neill's will uh, give you that progression start. We've had people through university um, that they've come out the other side with a degree in the particular field that they were going on for, um, the accounts, uh, wages, whatever it may be. You know, we definitely pride ourselves on that. The will to work and the work ethic to us is the most important skill that anyone can possess and to you know, have a successful career with O'Neill's. The companies featured in these films know how vitally important STEM subjects are to their success and to our economic future. These companies want you. The opportunities are there for you, provided you have the skills the companies need. The choices are yours. It's your turn now.